glad to see everyone here this morning. Let's stand together and sing.
It begins with, and it came to pass, as the prophets foretold, and in those days. It begins with, for unto you is born this day, and it ends with a Savior who is Christ the Lord. It's the story of Christmas, the only story that forever changed the world, today and for all time. Oh, the story of Christmas. The timeless words are woven throughout all our seasonal celebrations. We hear the story in children's recitations and grandpa's Christmas Eve memories. We listen to the story as it's shared through beloved carols on every street corner. We read the story in cards and letters from afar. We experience the story through newsletters and tweets. But the story is so much more than simple words. The Christmas story is felt in the warmth of a fire and the aroma of a family kitchen. The Christmas story is shared with every tender smile, with every laugh and fond embrace. But most of all, we live the Christmas story in the changed lives that come from knowing the Savior whose birth we celebrate. And this is the heart of the story. This is the heart of Christmas.
this, the Son of God had come to this earth as a child. The only witnesses to this glorious event were Mary, his mother, and Joseph, his earthly father, along with the cattle in the stable and a group of shepherds who received the good tidings from a host of angels. tells us that when the shepherds had seen the birth of Jesus, they made known abroad the saying which was told to them concerning this child. And all that heard it wondered at those things which were told to them by the shepherds. And then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen.
The angels called it good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. A Savior was born, a Savior from sin. The angels rejoiced, saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward all. Good Christian men rejoice with heart and soul and force. Give ye heed to what we say, news, news. Jesus Christ is born today. Ox and us before him bow, and he is in the manger now. Christ is born today. Christ is born today. Oh, my God. 
Emmanuel is born. The voice that commanded creation to come forth had become a baby's cry. The God whose arms had embraced the firmament was now asleep in a virgin's arm. Messiah has come. And in that tiny hand which grasped his mother's fingers so tightly lay the hope for all the world. God is with us. A story that started as a promise found itself in a stable on a peaceful, silent night and ultimately became a story of deliverance and salvation for all of us. The story now belongs to all of us, and it's up to each of us to make good on our part of the story. A story of hope, love, and promise.
Thousands of years have passed. Many millions of voices have shared the story, but the story remains unchanged. It is as vibrant and, as, and alive as it was that night long ago in Bethlehem. It is still changing lives, just as it did when the shepherds first gathered around a simple manger. This is a world waiting to hear the story. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that the Christmas story is now our story. In the name of our Savior, whose birth we celebrate, amen. Now may we as shepherds join the choir in proclaiming this amazing story. Thank you. 